We fear the things we can't see and don't understand. So it's no wonder that the latest fear to capture our global imagination is an elusive little bug and its mysterious companion, the Zika virus. This is scary. It's new, it's spreading very fast. It's being considered a pandemic. By the end of last year, a link between the Zika virus and a surge in birth defects in Brazil was suspected. The virus spread to 28 countries, prompting travel advisories. Women in El Salvador were even warned not to have kids for the next two years, an unprecedented move. Scientists knew about Zika from outbreaks in Africa and Asia for more than half a century. But how did it get to the Americas and become this major public health threat? A public health emergency of international concern. What we know for sure is that Zika is spread by mosquitoes. This one mainly, the Aedes aegypti. To start the cycle, it has to bite a diseased host, most likely a human. Once the virus is in the bug's body, it acts a lot like its cousin dengue. It's temperature sensitive, meaning it needs a warm place to get settled. Since mosquitoes are cold-blooded, that depends on the temperature outside. Let's say we're in a warm climate. After about 10 days of incubation, the virus makes copies of itself, and it's ready to move on to a new host. Our unsuspecting middleman, the mosquito, feels nothing at all during and after this exchange. Oh, look at it go. Just like in... 80% of people who are affected don't feel anything either. The rest mostly get fever, nausea, and other mild symptoms that pass eventually. But it's the new and serious cases that worry scientists and everyone else. The numbers of microcephalic babies born with abnormally small heads in Brazil have been staggering to infectious disease experts. We haven't seen that with other flaviviruses such as dengue, yellow fever, or West Nile. With a vaccine still years away, pregnant women across the Americas have been given a very difficult task. Don't get bitten in the first place. There could be many reasons why viruses like Zika spread. Globalization, low immunity in previously unexposed populations, and climate change. As scientists like David Harley point out, innumerable studies which have shown associations between temperature and rainfall and the incidence of mosquito-borne diseases. Warmer weather could bring tropical mosquitoes to areas they've never been, like parts of the United States, and they could bring their strange new diseases with them. Americans shouldn't panic, yet. We're unlikely to see an epidemic of Zika as big as Brazil's. But we should be mindful that as temperatures rise, more infectious diseases could hit us by surprise.